Y'all, chemotherapy has been kicking my ass. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I've been sick for the past two weeks. Like, literally, I just feel like I can't get out of bed sometimes. Or I feel like real dizzy or whatever. But everybody who's been DMing me asking me how I'm doing, that's how I'm doing. Like, I'm, I'm barely making it, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to push through. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But Lord, it is hard. I don't think it was this hard the first time that I did this. But, yeah. Welcome back to the vlog, y'all. It's Thursday, which means it's chemo day, and I'm already hooked up. My IV is in my arm, and I've been here at the hospital for about two hours. Things are going smoothly. They were a little behind um, on their treatment. I mean, they were a little behind on their schedule today, so it took a little bit for me to get back here. But I'm back here. My pump is running. Let me show y'all. My pump is running, and I only have probably about 45 minutes left. And my blood pressure is looking good 131 over 84 it was lower than that actually what happened I, oh i know what happened i was in here recording tiktoks because i was so bored <laughs> i might insert the tiktok so y'all can see it but yeah if you don't follow me on tiktok follow me on tiktok this is my name on tiktok is your faith po and i was also on instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram here's my instagram handle it's your favorite po just like youtube but yeah, y'all, I'm just sitting here. Let me show y'all my view, because y'all know I love when I get a good view at the hospital. Look at this. The sky is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm just sitting here looking out at the sky. Thanking God for another day I have on this earth, and I'm getting treated, so I'm so grateful, y'all. But on my last video, when I was talking about the plastic surgeon, y'all left so many good comments. Like, it was crazy. So many of y'all would think that the tummy tuck is a quote-unquote tummy tuck it's not really a tummy tuck but it's similar the doctor said it's similar to that but yeah so many of y'all <laughs> really had comments about that I was like oh my goodness I'm so scared of getting reconstruction y'all but I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the own tissue because like y'all said and like the doctor said it's like the best it's the best recovery so that's what I'm looking forward to the most like long-term results that's what it is it's the best long-term long why can't i talk oh my god let me drink some water Ooh. so yeah long term that's what we're, we're looking for long term oh my goodness but yeah y'all i can't i didn't even do an outfit post or anything i don't know i'm just not feeling it i'm feeling i'm almost feeling down y'all my spirits have been down i don't know why like my favorite nurse she came in here today that the one i was supposed to do a tiktok with last time but i forgot she she is so sweet every time i come in here we chop it up we talk but yeah i didn't do an outfit post because i'm just not feeling it i just have on this little basic shirt well it's kind of cute with the little strings right here and a cardigan because it's always cold in the hospital y'all already know that and some jeans it's very basic and some Yeezy slides. Oh, y'all, my sister got me some Yeezy slides. I was like, okay, good looking out. Shout out to my sister. Hey, sister, if you're looking at my video, I love you so much, girl. You always come through in the clutch. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting for my 45 minutes to be over so I can go home. Since this video is gonna be kind of short, I think I'll show y'all some other stuff at my house that I got in the, in the mail. Cause y'all, Ever since I started YouTube, I've been getting like opportunities to do sp like sponsored posts, so to speak. Like they'll send me stuff for in order for me to like post on TikTok or post on Instagram. So I wanted to show y'all that. Like that's what I'll be doing when I'm not recording YouTube videos. You know, I wanted to let y'all in a little bit on the back end of what's happening with Brittany, your favorite PO. <laughs> and speaking of your favorite PO, I'm thinking about changing my name. I said this before and I didn't do it, but I'm thinking about it again. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I might change it. That's not even important to y'all. Y'all came here for the, I'm thinking you came here for the content about breast cancer. But yeah, but the wig is still holding up. I didn't even straighten it today, y'all. I was, that's how like not in the mood I was. So this hair was straightened, I think like three days ago. If you want details on this hair, I'll put a link in the description box below. Or I put the type of the wig it is and the website that I got it from. Because it's holding up pretty, pretty good. So now I see why people get human hair wigs versus 
uh what is it synthetic wigs because this thing lasts way i mean it holds up way better yeah it's more expensive but in the long term you know i guess you get your money's worth <laughs> especially if you're like me you wear it every single day but yesterday i did wear my curly wig y'all y'all know my curly wig yeah i miss her so i had to put her on yesterday <laughs> but most of them wearing this wig and i just i don't know i like it it's okay the blonde is still trying to grow on me. It hasn't already, it hasn't gotten all the way there yet, y'all. But I don't know. Oh my God. And y'all, my eyebrows. I have no eyebrows, y'all. When I say I have zero eyebrows, like I'm not going to even zoom in on these things right here because it's just a pencil, y'all. If you want to know what eyebrow pencil I use, I'll link that in the description box too. Because all my pink sisters, y'all know the struggle. Like, if you don't have no eyebrows, you got to draw them things off. <laughs> but I think it looks okay. It looks okay. My daughter, oh my God, when she saw my eyebrows, when I did that uh, that video where I put, um, what was it, the Just For Men on my eyebrows, she was like, no, mom, that looks so fake. But when I put the pencil on, she's like, yeah, that looks good. That looks more natural, more realistic. Like, my daughter is something else, y'all. She always asks me, can I be on your YouTube channel? Can I be on your YouTube? When can I be on your YouTube? I'm like, girl, no. The internet is a strange place. We don't need you. <laughs> like no I don't want to have that like that but yeah I'm just sitting here waiting chopping it up with y'all but yeah I'll show y'all the stuff that I got when I get home probably I'll give you an update on how this treatment went after I'm done when I go back to the car oh I keep remembering stuff all of a sudden the plastic surgeon called me y'all okay he wanted to get do a little follow-up he was like you know I wanted to see if you have any questions if anything was unclear um, so I asked him again about the, the own tissue reconstruction. Um, I asked him like again, how long is the recovery? He says uh, four weeks, so about a month that I'll be in bed. I'm like, oh my god. And then he said also you can get tissue from your legs or your left handles. I'm like, mm, no, no. If I do the own tissue reconstruction, it'll definitely be the um, the stomach one. Cause I feel like that scar is more easily concealed than if you had it on your thighs or on your love handles. Like, I don't know. That's just, I don't know. It's all crazy to me. But thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments, the messages. Y'all, I'm learning so much from y'all through this process. And I'm hoping that somebody's learning something from my experience. Because, whew, it's definitely an experience. Like, oh my god. So, thank you guys. I just want to thank you. I'm almost at 8,000 subscribers, so if you know any pink sisters or anybody who's going through something like this, anything that could benefit from like what I have going on over here on this YouTube channel, go ahead and share the video with them or share my channel with them. I just want everybody to help everybody. And even in the comments, you guys respond to each other. I'm like, I love that. The community on YouTube is phenomenal. Like, it is phenomenal. I love that about YouTube. So, y'all can see something that bit me on my eye right here like you i don't know if you can really see but it's a little dot right there and my eye was like swollen for like three days and today it's still swollen like you can see right here it's puffy like more puffy than normal because this eye is kind of puffy too but <laughs> yeah this is a is more puffy than normal girl because something bit me i'm like oh my god i don't know what bit me and it's itchy too so i'm like oh my god i should have took some benadryl or something but I have been trying to change my diet, y'all. Y'all know I told y'all a few videos ago that I had went vegan when I found out about my diagnosis. And since then, I, I started incorporating meat again because my blood counts were low. But now, like, y'all, this is just between me and you. Girl, this, this is us, okay? I put on 20 pounds, okay? 20 pounds. Now, mind you, with chemotherapy, you on a steroid, so that doesn't help either with, like, weight gain or whatever. And I just, I don't know. I like the size that I was when I was vegan. Like, I had, I weighed 140, 148 or 140, 146, 146 or 148 when I was vegan, right? And I'm 5'6", if you didn't know, which I probably don't know. I'm 5'6". So, I like the size that I was in. I'm a naturally, like, slim person. I've always been the skinny girl, okay? The slim the slim chick, okay? That's me. That's always been me. So, <laughs> I'm kind of used to that body type. So, when I added the 20 pounds, when I um, incorporated meat again, I'm like, listen. Was it 20? It's almost like 15 pounds. I think I'm exaggerating because I'm not with it because I'm just so used to being slim, you know? 
So I'm gonna go back vegan. I told my husband, like, I'm going back vegan. He's like, okay. He supports it. <laughs> he not gonna do it, but yeah. I wanna go back vegan because I cannot. Like, all this extra pat. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then I'm thinking, okay, what if I lose weight and then I have the, um, the surgery? And there's not enough tissue there but um the surgeon he assured me that he said there's always enough tissue i was like okay <laughs> i'm gonna take your word for it so yeah i'm gonna start going back vegan hopefully my blood counts and all that stuff won't be affected this time if so i'll use like plants um different vegetables not plants what <laughs> different vegetables and stuff that also are um is supposed to help your blood counts so we gonna see okay i'm finally Finally done with this treatment, y'all. Oh, I, I rearranged everything in here. <laughs> Not this one, that one. Yeah. You want oh, yeah. yeah. She has stuck me twice. Okay. Some things didn't work out the first time. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happens. Yeah. That's why she's like, you didn't get that pork yet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. She over here fussing at me about this pork, y'all. You don't need it. You hear that? Do y'all hear her? I know y'all hear her. Do you, you still gotta, you gotta do the AC too or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. They'll give it to you by then. I have to start that, I think, in two weeks. In two weeks? Yeah. Okay. Every, I was um, talking to my subscribers about the AC one. They said that one is the Red Devil. Yes. And I'm like, the name is the Red Angel, you can call it. I only had two rounds of that back in 2018. Mm -hmm. And I'm like nervous as heck to have it again. Did it do you real bad? Or make you feel real bad? Shoot. The only thing I remember was my hands like turned black. Oh. I was yeah. like, what the hell? Yes, it will do that too. That was strange. Yeah. Like, but a lot of people are saying that they're doing really good with the ones that I've been having that's coming in. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. So you, it might not be as bad. I don't know if they're doing other stuff outside of it, but they, they're like, no, it, I'm doing fine. It's you need to get the inside <laughs> scoop for me. <laughs> Cause listen, I'm scared of that red devil. <laughs> Look, I'm all don't be patched scared, up, y'all. Look at that. Scared. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have the port yet. We're going to see. You need to get that port. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so nervous about that port. Why? It's better. And then you won't have to get stuck multiple times. After a while, that chemo going to tear up your veins. Right. That's what I know. Mm -hmm. Can I just get some new veins? Can I get a vein replacement? Uh -uh. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know I need to get it. I do. I do. I have three more months of chemotherapy. So, Lord Jesus, be with me. Three more months? Well, the AC is three months. Okay. Well, every three weeks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Okay. That's why I say three months. I'm like, mm. okay. Well, y'all, I'm all done. I get to leave. Yeah, I'll give me a second.